welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2. Sorry about the lighting. As you can see behind me, Minneapolis is quite overcast and it is so chilly outside, but that is not going to stop us from having a super fun day because today is the day before Kristen comes into town and I'm so excited to see her and hang out with her and to vlog it for you guys. But before she comes, we have a lot to do. So come with me to run errands. We're going to go to Target. We're going to go to Trader Joe's. We might stop into Dollar Tree. I'm not quite sure yet. And then we need to come back home and deep clean the house, y'all, because my house needs a deep cleaning. We need to mop. We need to vacuum. We need to dust. We need to wipe things down. So come along with me to run errands and deep clean my house and to get ready for Kristen's arrival. So we have a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. So let's head over to Target first, start with that, and then just see where the day takes us. So I will see you guys at Target. Alrighty, first up, Target. Alrighty, so now that we are done with Target, we are going to our last stop of the day, which is Trader Joe's, which just so happens to be one of my absolute favorite places in the world. We're going to pick up some really yummy things, and I'm excited to take you along with me, so let's go! So we are obviously back in my apartment, we're in my kitchen, and I thought I'd give you guys a haul. I'm going to try to make this really quick, really simple, rapid fire speed haul because I have quite a few goodies from Trader Joe's and Target, and I just stopped at Dollar Tree in between those places. I didn't film it, but I will give you a haul. I only got a few things, which is why I didn't film it, but anyway, I have quite a lot of goodies, and knowing me, I'm a chatter, and so I could easily make this clip 35 minutes long, but... We have a lot to do, so I will not do that to you or me because I do have to edit these videos at the end of this. But I did want to give you guys a haul because I feel like I got a lot of really fun things for Chris and I this week, and I want to show you guys. So we're going to start with Trader Joe's because that is the biggest haul, and I'm really excited about it. So I'm just going to grab what I see first. First thing I got, I was running out of coffee, and this is the coffee I get. It's the Trader Joe's medium roast coffee. If anyone wants to take a picture, that's what it looks like and it's great it's delicious so we got that i also got a 10 pack of their instant coffee this comes with cream and sugar you literally just add water it's delicious kristen and i first tried this when we went into austin and so every time i go to trader joe's i try to pick some up i try to keep these in my travel bag because sometimes the hotel coffee is not it and the airplane coffee do not drink it is garbage it is not good if you knew how often those filters get cleaned out you'd never order it so i can prepare the next two things are the exact same thing i just bought two of them this is new this year with trader joe's and so i wanted to try it it is their greek yogurt in eggnog flavor now i know there's a debate eggnog lovers versus not i'm an eggnog lover so i wanted to try i saw one of my youtubers post about this and they said it was really good so i got it and I will let you guys know. I will give you guys a taste test this week because why not? Also, this is new from Trader Joe's. I've never had it. I've seen it a few times. I've chosen not to buy it because your girl is trying to get back into her fitness journey. We're trying to get back into our protein goals. 
but you know what Kristen's coming to town we're gonna treat ourselves absolutely so I got their raspberry croissant and it's a croissant filled with raspberry filling and it just looked too good not to have so we got it and then the last few ingredients that I got are to make a pizza this pizza is viral on TikTok right now. I actually attempted to make this pizza, this exact pizza, a few weeks ago when my mom came to town and it did not turn out well at all. My bad, not the recipe, totally my bad because I don't have an oven, as you guys know, so I tried to make it in the air fryer. It didn't work out, but now I've researched how to do it, so we will redeem ourselves this week. So, since we are here for redemption, I got all the ingredients to try and remake the pizza and have it be an absolute sway. So, I got their ready to bake garlic and herb pizza dough this is what it looks like and then i got fresh mozzarella i got this pack of variety of meat i got their garlic herb spread all this stuff goes on the pizza and then i got their burrata which again goes on the pizza so I will tell you guys how it turns out. We'll probably film it. We'll probably do a taste test later this week, but we are gonna redeem ourselves. So I'm really, really excited about that. And then the last two things that I got are actually for my dinner tonight because your girl doesn't have any groceries. So I've been dying to try these squiggly knife cut style noodles. They come with soy sauce and sesame seeds and they just look phenomenal. I look at them almost every time I go and I never get them. So tonight I decided, you know what? I want some ramen and then to add a little bit of protein i got their grilled chili lime chicken strips they're already cooked they're already marinated you just literally i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up yeah there you go literally just heat and serve so i thought i could have some noodles with a little bit of protein so i'm excited about that that's something fun and new that i haven't had and the last thing i got at trader joe's not that exciting but i needed it for a ninja creamy recipe because kristen she requested a few things. She requested a Ninja Creamy recipe and then a few things that I'll show you at Target. And so one of the things that I need for my Ninja Creamy is whole milk. So we just got some regular old whole milk. So that is all, I believe, all the goodies that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm like looking on the counter. I'm like, did I miss anything? I don't think so. Now, oh my gosh, yes I did. Oh, it's on the floor, which is why I didn't see it. Um, I also got these new fun mystery bags that Trader Joe's just came out with. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, how cute. So I got two so Kristen and I this week could unbox them for you guys. So they are signed to delivered. I will not open them until Kristen comes, but I'm excited. I saw them on TikTok, like I said, and they're only $2 and people have really liked them. And I guess every mystery bundle is different depending on the state. So I'm really excited to see what mystery goodies Minneapolis has for us. So stay tuned. Kristen and I will definitely unbox these for you guys in a later vlog when she's here. But yeah, how can I forget literally the most important things of Trader Joe's? Right here. So anyway, that is all I got at Trader Joe's. Now I will quickly move on to Target. So Target, I didn't go in there for too much. I had a list. I knew exactly what I wanted. So I will just run you through it. So the first thing that I got is a request from Kristen. When I asked her, hey girl, what do you want? She said, can we please do some plain potato chips and some French onion dip? So your girl said, absolutely. So I got some chips and dip for a good snack. Who doesn't love chips and dip? I'm a chip gal, I can eat chips any time of the day, any meal. I love it, so this was an easy absolutely. And I love having things that I'm hosting people that they like to have, that they like to snack on, whether it's coffee, whether it's snacks, whether it's whatever I can do to make them feel more comfortable. I love to do it. So, Kristen, I know you're watching this. I got your chips, girl. I also got this Big Daddy right here. I got four pounds of granulated sugar. Again, for my Ninja Creamy recipe, it called for sugar. So I have sugar to last me a lifetime. So we stocked up on that. I also got some heavy whipping cream. Again, that's what my Ninja Creamy recipe called for. So we got some of that. Next, I see probably my most exciting find of the whole day because the girlies on TikTok have been blowing this up and it has been selling out everywhere. And I got the last one in stock. And so I'm so excited. So we have the Chibani coffee creamer and peppermint mocha. This is what has been going viral 
all the girlies are snagging it up. And so I was glad that I was able to get the last one because I was really, really hoping that I could get this today because it was kind of like my big ticket item, if you will. And then I also got us this cold brew, which is also peppermint mocha, which I haven't had this brand before, but I hear it's really, really, really good. So I'm really excited because instead of Kristen and I going to Starbucks every day, we are going to be Starbucks, which we're excited about. Not to say that we might not get a Starbucks here or there while she's here because you never know. We're going to go where the wind takes us. But for our mornings, we can have a little Starbucks at home. And I am so excited about this combo. I've never had either one of these things. And so I'm excited to try. Maybe I'll give you guys a little taste test. And truly, my morning coffee brings me so much happiness. So this was definitely my favorite find of the day. I am ah, so excited. I just love peppermint mocha season. And I love that I don't have to go to Starbucks every day and get it. I can get it at home for half the cost. So we got that and then the last few little things that i got at target one again a ninja creamy recipe ingredient we got some cream cheese and then the last three things oh i'm so sorry i almost forgot another big ticket item is i got this cute little gift bag because i'm going to wrap kristen's gift early and give her early christmas gifts so you obviously need a little gift bag and i really 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 liked this one and then i also got as one does gift wrap this is what mine looks like this year. I feel like wrapping really tells a lot about a person and I just really found this tree watercolor wrapping just so stunning. So I got that. And then the last thing, how could I literally forget? You guys saw me pick this out. I got Kristen matching Christmas PJs. So I got these Christmas PJs for myself a few weeks ago and I love them. I've gotten so many compliments on them. They are so soft, so cozy and honestly, a good price for pjs because pjs low-key can be expensive so i got kristen a matching set so i'm so 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 excited so this is gonna be the last part of her christmas gift so i'm excited for her to open these up and we can match and we can watch christmas movies this week and decorate christmas cookies and just have all the christmas feels so i got her that and then the last few things that i got at dollar tree which i went there between target and trader joe's i didn't film it and i just quite literally bought three things I got some scotch tape because we needed some for the gift wrap. I got markers because I thought it'd be so fun to surprise her tomorrow with a big old sign and markers that say like, welcome to Minneapolis, Kristen, or welcome back, bestie, or something. And I can stand there and hold it up, you know what I mean? And go, yay, yay, and completely embarrass her at the airport. So. I just went in real quick to Dollar Tree and got poster paper, markers, and that scotch tape. And that pretty much concluded my errand. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. I've never done that before for someone. And I think it'll be so fun. I've not seen Kristen, oh my gosh, in a hot sec. I don't think we've officially hung out since I've left Denver, which was earlier this summer. So it has been a hot sec. So I'm really just trying to make this week and the next couple days for her really, really, really special. And I feel like the poster will help and all our little goodies. And I just think it'll be such a fun time together. So now that I've talked to you guys' ear off, I'm gonna put all of my groceries away and regroup. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, see you guys in a little, bye.
guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. And I hope you guys just enjoyed having a girly day with me, going to Target, going to Trader Joe's, and then obviously come back home and cleaning the house. That way everything is spick and span for Kristen's arrival. I am so excited for her to come in tomorrow and we're gonna have the best couple of days and I cannot wait to take you guys along with us because we have some really fun, exciting things coming up. So be sure that you guys are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, be sure to turn on the bell notification. That way you guys do not miss a single Vlogmas video. And as always, be sure to work hard, stay humble, and be kind. And I will see you guys for Vlogmas Day 3. All right, bye guys.